save them and use them for the, for the next time you hire a photographer. Are you recording this? <laughs> okay, well, booyah. Hi, my name is Joy Pearson and I'm a photographer. been shooting since I was honestly in elementary school so my dad gave me a camera in elementary school and was very very adamant about what I took photos of because obviously film back then was expensive to get developed um, but so that's where kind of like the love of photography came from and then when I became pregnant with Brenton I started doing it a lot more and I knew that it, there was a certain type of lifestyle that I wanted him to live and a certain type of lifestyle that I wanted to live. Uh, currently, at the time, my job was a personal assistant and I knew that I wasn't necessarily going to be able to do both the way that I wanted to do. And so I just um, did an event for Ray Jeanne. Uh, she was turning 13, I think, at the time. and. Um, Next thing you know, the photos got to the blogs, Nicole Bitchy's blog, and I was like, hey, this is like a way to make money. And then next thing I know, um, I learned a couple tricks uh, that way, and the rest was pretty much history. Well, money-wise, bread and butter-wise, I am a to the core a um, corporate event photographer that is where i get all of my all my bills and lifestyle is created from that type of photography i love to shoot a little bit of everything but um, i definitely feel like i can do an event with my eyes shut what makes me unique i think the main thing that differentiates me from i probably the majority of photographers and maybe just in my eyes um, of course is I'm not afraid to go there so if at the end of the day I needed to climb up on something um, and get that angle like I have no problem doing it so I think my angles is probably the one thing that I am um, am known for I think that that's one of the things like I said that that a lot of people are like did she really just climb up that tree to get that photo and yeah I really did just climb up that tree to get that photo so the first weapon of choice was a Nikon honestly I, I started off with a Nikon my brother had a Nikon um, and I didn't do any research on the brands Nikon Sony Canon I just got one and um, and I just started using it and playing around with it and I continued to stay with the Nikon brand for for a while and then someone actually uh, bought me a Canon for my birthday. And so I was actually shooting a wedding with a Nikon and a Canon. I, if I'm not mistaken, I had a wide angle lens on one camera and I had a, a zoom on another. And in the editing process, I was blown away by the difference in the quality of the photos and more importantly, the richness in the colors. When I saw the difference, I was like, okay, there it is. From there on out, I was sold on Canon. What do you currently shoot? I currently shoot with a Canon. I actually have two Canon 7Ds. Um, I use Canon brand lenses, uh, but this is actually a Tamron, which is a, it's a wide angle lens, and I have fallen in love with that as well too. I'm not afraid to go outside of the box when it comes to using off brands because I really do feel like they have figured out the nuances and what you need. And um, really, it's not even about the camera. It's not even about the lens. It's about you as a photographer, what you're willing to do and where you're willing to go to get that actual image. My favorite lens to shoot with 
under any circumstances would be the Canon 24 to 70. I feel like at the end of the day, you can get close up enough and then you can get far enough away as well to, um, to be able to get everything that you need. And then the most important thing too, as a photographer is moving. <laughs> like at the end of the day, if you need to get up close, you need to move to get there. If you need to be back, then, you know, you need to be back, then move back. You know, the funny thing is, is that I have a lot of people that I love their work, but I don't remember their names. So especially the hard part too, as well is, you know, when you're looking at people's bodies of work, especially through like an Instagram, you know their Instagram name. So that doesn't necessarily mean that that's what their real name is, unfortunately. Um, so I, I, I remember there was a point in time, especially with, um, Tumblr and um, Pinterest where I would actually go through and I still do I'll go through and I'll see stuff that I would that I love the photography of it and I will go through and and find a model to mimic that same exact shot and um, and I really th feel as if it's paying homage to that photographer just to say this was such an amazing shot I'm so glad that you thought of it and now I am able to hopefully hopefully try to um, show the inspiration and in what you gave me when I shoot it again. But I have plenty of people, I just hate the fact that I can't think of their names right now. One that I do know um, is Dwayne Rogers who is here. He was actually one of the guys that brought, he was the guy, not one of them. He was the gentleman who brought me on to rolling out as an event photographer. I'm blown away by my girlfriend, uh, Drea Nicole Photography. She came to Atlanta, we're both from Virginia. She came to Atlanta and she has taken over the scene. Um, and um, those two right offhand that I do know, Brian Christian Photography, and then I'll, I'll start to name people and it'll get to the point where I miss somebody. Um, and then Dwayne Hathaway, depending on what day, uh, DS Hathaway. But we have actually worked together in front of the camera and behind the camera, and I am blown away by him as well, too. Biggest mistake newbies make, not having a website or a watermark. So my mistake was when I shot Regine's birthday party, this was, this will show you the date of it. My space was out. <laughs> my space was out, Regine turned 12, we were at a bowling alley, little photos of Little Wayne, photos of um, T.I., photos of Monica, Toya, all of these amazing photos of them hanging out, laughing, you know, the cake, the candles. I mean, I can actually remember that event like it was the back of my, you know, I mean, just so vividly. Um, I remember that they all had on um, bowling, like bowling shirts you know, Wayne's had daddy on it, Toya's had mommy on it. I remember specifically zooming in on one photo and it had Wayne and I think he was, Regine was blowing out the candles and you saw daddy on the back of his shirt. But those photos made it to Toya, who and then made it to Nicole Bitchy. But at the time I had no watermark. And so there was no photo credit. There was no, oh, Joy Pearson photography. There was no Joy Pearson photography. It was Joy with a camera and I was shooting. And when I reached out to Nicole Bitchy, she actually said to me, oh yeah, sorry. I apologize that I'm using your, photo your photos without you know, knowing who to cite. I had no clue. I found the Montoya's MySpace page and I don't even remember whether or not she gave me credit or not. Let's just say that she did um, because I reached out to her. But the lesson in that was, especially when you're shooting stuff with uh, celebrities, to watermark everything. I think the toughest part about the business side is that you forget that there's the business side. You are so creative and you're so focused on just going out there and taking photos and shooting that you, you could, again, possibly miss out on money, possibly miss out on people who want to invest into your brand because they don't necessarily know what brand to invest in. You know the funny thing about improving and growing is when you look back at your photos from the beginning and you're like, you mean someone actually paid me for this? 
I mean, I really was just pissing in the wind, just trying to figure it out. You know, and as a freelancer, when you first start out, there is no check. I, I mean, I have, I've never gone to school for photography, but I have had to go to school for photography, especially knowing that when you want to do it full time and you want to create a certain lifestyle for yourself, you have to teach yourself and you have to grow. Um, my equipment has gotten better because I've been able to invest back in my equipment. My logo has changed numerous times because I, as I've continued to grow as a photographer, my, my brand has changed. So when it comes to pricing, the, the most important thing that I think that you need to understand is who you're talking to. <laughs> Um, and I think what also matters is, you know, how, how much work have you actually done? You might not, you could be a photographer who has just started out, but you've been shooting for a long time and you've got thousands and thousands of photos. So no, you might not have actually ever gotten a check for it, but you know what you're doing. Once you figure out exactly what you want to do, wedding photography is a lot different than corporate event photography. Event photography is a lot different than landscape, then you have, you know, food. So figure out exactly what type of photography you're looking to get into. Do some research, do some, you know, Google, you know, rates, and then just kind of find like a happy medium. And then shucks, worst case scenario, throw it out there. If they say, yeah, sure, let's run it, then hey, run it.